What's up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Boy here and today I'm going to be giving you the basic rules and regulations of long jump and triple jump. These are two complete separate events, however they share very similar rules and regulations, hence why I'm making them one video. Without further ado, let's get started. So the aim of the game is to jump the furthest distance, the person who jumps the furthest wins. The area in which you jump is made up of two parts. The runway is made up of a minimum length of 40 meters long and it is 2.22 meters wide. And then the sand pit is a minimum of 9 meters long and 2.75 meters wide. These are the standard dimensions, however, the lot of tracks will have different dimensions based on the space available and the user requirements. The board which you jump from is made up of a hard surface which is usually white and it has a soft strip which allows to show impressions if the jumper steps on it. This soft strip is known as a foul line. This board is set at 1 meter away from the sand pit edge for long jump. For triple jump it is set at a distance of 13 meters for men and 11 meters for women. For both long jump and triple jump, the athletes can start their run up anywhere they wish on the runway. They usually mark where they start with a unique marker and they have up to two markers they can use on the runway. From building up momentum from the run, they then jump from the board. In long jump, it's one individual jump from the board to set your longest jump. In triple jump, you have a hop, step and jump after the board to set your longest distance. In both events, athletes have three attempts in which to set their longest jump. Each athlete is ranked on their longest jump. The distance is measured from the foul line to where the athlete's imprint starts. So for example, if you land on your feet but then fall back onto your bum, the distance is measured from where your bum landed. Therefore, it is better for an athlete to fall forwards preventing them to lose extra distance they jumped. Similarly, if they jump from further behind the foul line, it adds extra distance which does not count, meaning that they lose distance from their overall jump. The only other rule is you cannot somersault during a jump. The longest jump at the end wins, and if there's a tie at the end of the competition, the jumper who set the longest jump in the previous attempt wins. If the athlete's second attempts are also tied, they then decide on their first attempts. I could not find what would happen if three scores were the same, but this would be extremely bizarre and it's very unlikely to happen. Other regulations include the type of sand that is used, the type of heel you have on your shoes, the methods that is used to measure, how to set records, and finally they've put regulations on how much impact the wind can have on the jumpers to ensure that the field is fair. If this sport doesn't sound like your ideal sports, check out other sports such as whitewater slalom, rugby, swimming, basketball and many other cool sports. Hey guys, this video is part of a series explaining the basic rules and regulations of athletics. I will leave the links for the rest of the videos in the description below if you'd like to check them out. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and it will keep you updated with the latest videos. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, adios.